Welcome back to Combat Mission Battle for Normandy. This is the briefing for the In the Shadow of the Hill 5 a.m. scenario. This is the first of, I think it's four, maybe five scenarios. Let's go for the briefing. Situation 0500, 10th July 1944. Weather is overcast with light winds from the west. General situation. This is the opening phase of a major operation to capture Hill 112 and to establish bridgeheads on the south bank of the River Orne. Ground. The ground uh, gently rises from the start line at Fontaine et before cresting at Le Duan. There is little cover between the start line and the company objectives, although the wheat fields will offer concealment for the assaulting troops. Mission. To secure the farm complex of Le Duan and the wooded area to the east known as Horseshoe Wood. This will eliminate the German salient at Le Duan and provide the basis for the continued attack. Friendly forces C Company, D Company, 5 Dorsets, 130 Infantry Brigade, 43rd Infantry Division, 2 troops of B Squadron, 9th Royal Tank Regiment. Enemy forces, enemy units in the area are believed to be elements of 5 and 7 Company, 222 SS Panzer Grenadier Regiment with supporting arms. Plan. C Company are to clear enemy forces from and secure the farm complex of Le Duane. Of Le Duane. D Company are tasked to secure Horseshoe Wood and to destroy enemy forces in surrounding area. Okay, let's think about that a little second. C Company are to clear enemy forces from and secure the farm complex of Le Duane. And D Company are tasked to secure Horseshoe Wood and to destroy enemy forces in surrounding area. 9th Royal Tank Regiment are in direct support to assist. Both objectives to be secured by all 550 hours in preparation for the assault on Chateau de Fontaine. Notes it takes approximately 10 minutes to move from Fontaine to Perfor to Le Duane and 20 minutes to reach Horseshoe Wood. Let's have a look at the tactical map. Uh, let's just go over this because it's the first time for this series. And game notes: In the Shadow of the Hill is a series of missions covering the actions in the area of Fontaine et Perfor Marteau on the 10th July 1944, being part of the larger operation known to the British as Operation Jupiter, whose main objective was the capture of Hill 112. The master map for these operations is 1.6 kilometres wide by 4 kilometres deep and all actions take place on smaller sections of this map. This mission is the first in the series and represents the opening attack by five Dorsets to capture the farm complex at Le Duan and a wooded area to the east known to the British as Horseshoe Wood. Each mission is separate from the others in the series so casualties, armor losses etc do not carry over to subsequent missions. Rather the forces provided at the start of each mission are as close as ma uh, close as match to the historical forces encountered as gameplay will allow. Category semi historical in the shadow of the hill, or 500 or 545. Best played as British as we are versus AI or head to head, and AI plan also exists to allow Germans versus AI. So now we are length is 45 minutes plus a uh, 5 minute uh, variable. Mission, ty mission type is allowed attack, secure terrain objectives. Date and time, 10th July 1944 or 500 to 545 hours. Weather conditions are overcast, cool and the wind is gentle from the west. On the British side, forces are elements of 130 Infantry Brigade, while on the German side, units from the 22nd Panzer Grenadier Regiment, 10th SS Panzer Division, 12th SS Panzer Division and 1st SS Panzer Division were all involved. 130 Brigade were tasked with securing the eastern flank of Hill 112, split over three phases. Phase 1, 130 Brigade with 9 Royal Tank Regiment were to clear the area of Le Duane before moving on to capture Ch Chateau de Fontaine. Phase 2, 130 Brigade again supported by 9th Royal Tank Regiment were to attack Etteville and Malteau before advancing towards St Martin to the southeast of Hill 112. Phase 3, 130 Brigade to establish defences on a line Etteville Malteau, so protecting the open flank to the east. If successful, these actions would see the German outpost line and first stop line being breached and severe pressure exerted on the second stop line, while 129 Brigade in action to the west would capture Hill 112, designed by Pete Wenman. Okay, let's take a last look at the tactical map. Uh, objectives are Le Duane, 200 points, Horseshoe Wood, 
south 200 points secure Lidwen 200 points uh, occupy Horseshoe Wood north and secure Horseshoe so 800 points in total for our objectives obviously the, the main two are getting into Lidwen and Horseshoe Wood south and we'll uh, push on there support available 3 French uh, batteries I suppose and uh, uh, 25 pounders 8 guns I suppose reinforcements armor to arrive in 10 or 20 minutes let's have a look at the map as you can see it's pretty murky so I had a previous look at this map and what I plan to do with C Company is to push down this right flank. I don't want to go straight across here because it leaves you a little bit exposed to flanking fire there as well as from the left. I want to push down here. I'm not sure how exactly I'm going to go here but I'll just set it up and the, the, the initial plan is to push down here. Um, not sure how the infantry or the armor is going to deal with these small hedgerows. We'll see how that uh, works out. Uh, I'm expecting a, a bit of a maybe a defensive line actually here. I'll probably put uh, a little bit of fringe modified down here as soon as I can get a spotter in place and also further back. Maybe along this line. This is also a good line for for German defences. Obviously, the form itself will put 25 pound of fire down on there. That's my first object. My first uh, plan is to get in there uh, while with D Company. I'll move them up into this line here, and then as we've uh, secured Lederwein, I'll start to push the infantry across. I might get the infantry a little bit away, maybe a third of the way across, but I don't want to go too far. And the idea then is to keep advancing across this line and then attack into or she would across get up into this forward line quite possibly. Use the wheat field for cover and then gradually I'll hit it with a lot of uh, there'll be a lot of twenty five pound of fire all along it's kind of a L shape first to clear this so you get some good tree bursts in there and then uh, push directly across there so that's going to be the plan and I'll uh, I'll come back after I set up the forces which will take a little bit of time so here we have the initial plan we're just going to uh, move uh, two platoon up also going to get the 12 platoon uh, Hold on a second. Now, two platoon is the mortar spotter. I want to get those up uh, to uh, hopefully start a, uh, bringing three inch mortar rounds down. And 12 platoon are going to move up to this hedgerow and start uh, pushing across. That's their initial turns. Then we have 11 platoon. Um, and also we have. 13 platoon between those so 11 platoon is, is C company's reserve so I'll just push these two through here and uh, I'll push the reserve into a position where they can deal with any eventualities uh, behind here we have uh, C company HQ uh, in fact I'm going to get them into a building before doing anything else We've also got the HQ tank in reserve and we have one section which is second in command for C company mounted on a jeep. Uh, in the centre we've basically got uh, universal cap. I'm not sure. I think the universal carry carries a link with the five Dorsets HQ. Um, 
they could have kind of church building on over three floors I've got the forward observer on the top floor and below him support company HQ uh, to act as a secondary spot and also a sniper floor down don't want to put them all jammed into one room um, further back here we've got D company HQ the second in command nearby um, the objective here is with uh, 14 platoon then make the initial push on the left to get up to those hedgerows 15 platoon on the right and we have 16 platoon in reserve a little bit shorter on this side for spotters but uh, really I want to get uh, to sort that out first then I can shift spotters possibly to the flank hopefully the spotter here the forward observer will have better spotting on the left flank anyway uh, we've got two IC for the five Dorsets also mounted in Jeep further back. I'll use those to, uh, I think we might have got a universal spot to spare. Anyway, but that is the idea we're going to, uh, first phase will be to push on the right flank, get our objectives here while we gradually work forward with D Company on the left. So that's the setup. Uh, hope you enjoyed that setup and uh, looking forward to it as much as I'm going to be interested to see how it develops because it is the, the line of sight is going to be pretty pretty bleak but uh, hopefully I'll be able to uh, get some spotting done with these spotters I'm moving up and uh, with those uh, Churchills we'll get some close in support so that's it for the setup uh, hope to see you back for the first group of turns next time